Hey, Vibers, and welcome to the Vibe with Kai podcast. It's your boy, Kai, and today I'm sitting with the incredible George Anthony Bell, who a lot of you know from the TV show Gilmore Girls. Before we get with the thoughts of the interview with George, be sure to follow me on your favorite social media platforms at The Vibe with Kai, or visit your uh, my official website at thevibewithkai.com, where I'm always posting things that'll help you do good, feel good, be good, and live a good life full of good vibes. I want to get right into it today because this is super duper exciting. I'm sitting here george anthony bell whom a lot of you will recognize from from gilmore girls uh he, he has played uh rory's professor professor bell he has played multiple multiple you've seen him multiple times on the show obviously and i want to get right into it because there's so much i want to ask him but before we get into gilmore girls how are you doing today sir how how was how was how was your day is it, is it going well it's great. I'm enjoying yeah. it. Uh, just, you know, hanging at home with my two kitty cats. Nice. They, may, they might uh, surprise me if they jump on camera. Oh, that's fine. They're not we, camera shy. <laughs> this is, listen, we are, we are kitty cat friendly. I love, I love cats in like in, in the, uh, if I, if I wish I had one. Cause then I'd be um, like, Oh, look at, look at mine. That's what I would. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is really cool because uh, I, I was, I was explaining to you before, the uh before we started recording that that gilmore girls is is new to me uh i'm a big tv fan but i had never seen an episode of gilmore girls before october of last year and i've been documenting it ever since and uh this has been quite the experience and we were just talking about the fandom and how you know the show came out 20 20 over 20 years ago and now it is more popular now than it was when it initially came out what does it feel like for you to be a part of a show, of an experience that is still resonating with people today after all of this time? Oh, gosh. I, I mean, I'm proud to be associated yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was a quality show. We knew when we were doing the show that it was a great show. Sure. And I, in fact, we kind of felt like stepchildren, like, uh, why aren't we getting our props? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, it, it was well yeah. respected and liked, but... Yeah. You know, I think Lauren should have gotten a, an Emmy uh, nomination every yes. year, as should have Alexis and mm -hmm. also Kelly. I mean, all three of the, the three generations yes. of the Gilmore Girls, I, they should have gotten Emmy nominations. Right, right, uh, right. At least yeah. a few times during the uh, seven Ab seasons. Absolutely, especially especially Lauren, because there's been a there's been a couple moments uh, that uh, a couple episode moments and episodes where I'm like, wow, she's she's really giving it her all <laughs> right, right now. Yes. You know, and like that's real. I love I love that. And especially whenever like her and Rory are either like having like a conflict or she's having an, a conflict with Richard and Emily, like some, sometimes they have these really passionate moments that I'm like, oh, wow, God, this yes. is really good. Yes. No, yeah. oh yeah no and there's just so much dialogue and and yes. the fact that she can memorize that stuff so quickly i i couldn't do it you know uh but <laughs> boy she can i mean she comes to set you know um and she'll get the pages and and you know. right and on top of that i'm sure like she would not only like and it's one thing to just memorize but to add uh your character to it and to to be able to uh add this depth to it that you would nor you wouldn't normally have like yeah. that's that's incredible that she was able to do that. Oh yeah, because I mean, there's not there's no time to mm -hmm. get a whole lot of time to work out all the layers of acting and moments, and and then you also have to deal with props and right. and, and costumes walking, and, movement, yeah. all that stuff with the di with the dialogue, mm -hmm. and I mean, it's it's not an easy job, you know. Right, right. And you and on on the set, you were you, if I'm not mistaken, you were uh, the di the dialogue coach, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. So and if there's one thing that Gilmore Girls is known for, it's this like quick, fast paced, witty dialogue. Right. That, you know, can be not hard to follow, but hard to do, I'm sure, especially if you just if you just got it. So what was it like for you? Like when when you got the script and then you you're charged with helping the actors really, you know, find their their voice here. Uh, what was it like for you just working with all of the actors on, on that side of things? It it was a major challenge mm -hmm. uh, because one I had done dialogue coaching for sitcoms. I I was the right. dialogue coach on Sister Sister, and Sister Sister, yeah yeah, <laughs> love me some Tia and Tamara, yeah, uh, yes. uh, and Jack Hayes, an old friend, yeah. Uh, yes. 
And uh, that was a whole lot easier, you know, uh, because it didn't have to be word perfect on that show. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and it's a half hour sitcom. It was a little bit more free freedom. But on Gilmore Girls, it had to be word perfect. Right. No little deviations, no ad libbing. Mm-hmm. It had to be exactly as the lines were written. Right. And so when I when I interviewed for the job, I uh, I interviewed with Amy and uh, Patricia Palmer, who was one of the uh, producers, uh, right. supervising producer of the show. And I said, <laughs> I said, now are the actors okay with this? You know, because uh, you know I'm an actor. That's that's right, that's, right. that's my background. And I'm like, now, because uh, I don't want to be coming in there giving corrections, and they're like, oh, <laughs> not having me. Right, <laughs> right. So, so I, so I said, uh, they said, oh no, 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 uh, no that they, they're they're aware. I'm like, Mm-hmm. So wait, when did you when when what when did you come on board for that responsibility throughout the course of the show? I came on season three. Season three. Uh, okay. I, that's when they they hired me. They hadn't had okay. a dialogue coach before. Okay. Um, my first full episode was the marathon dance. What yes. I forgot what they shoot Gilmore's don't they? Is that what it's called? Right. Yeah. So when yeah when they do like the, the yeah I, I remember yeah. that, was, that was a great episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it better be because I I was so upset because. Um, uh, I I didn't want to start right then and there. I was going to go with uh, some friends to uh, Stockholm, Sweden. I had a oh. vacation all planned, yeah. you know. And and so uh, and when they hired me, I said, "Well, um, well, can I start like uh, you know, like a week or so later?" They said, "Oh no, 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 no." I no, said, it's like yeah, you I have right this now. trip. You know, I'm going, you know, I'm going, I'm going to Scandinavian countries I'd never been. Uh, no, this is a really big show, and we need to have yeah. you. So I had to give up that uh, that that vacation. <laughs> right. But I'm sure I'm sure it was worth it though. Like like once you got there, like you might have been disappointed, but I'm sure you were. It was worth it. Like once you get like, oh wow, this is really happening. Not at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my tea? Where's my tea? <laughs> No, in the beginning, I said, what the hell did I get yeah. myself into? I, I, I called my friend Carla uh, McCloskey, who was the yeah. one that got me on to the show. Yeah. She was the first AD on the show. Yeah. And uh, uh, Well, actually, my very first day uh, on the show, it wasn't that episode. They were, it was the, I think it was the last day of... Uh, it was the uh, I remember it was they were in the town square. Okay. And Dan Palladino, um, Amy's husband, uh, mm-hmm. the other creator of the yeah. show, mm-hmm. he was playing uh, the man who was up in the church. Oh, in the tower, t- in the tower. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> that was my very first day, uh, <laughs> and all of the actors were there, and and I, and so I'm I'm there, and I'm. And so, and I had not done episodic before, so that was a whole different ball game. So I had to learn, uh, you know, about uh, coverage, you know, the master shoot, all all this, and Mm because there was no one there to teach me. So I had, it was on the job training that I had to learn how to do that. (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) <laughs> and it was an adjustment for everybody having sure. you there, and uh, you know, because at first the actors, I um, mean, and they were all lovely and sure. loved them dearly. Now let yeah. me just get that out. I love them all dearly. They're great. Right. At the beginning, you know, there were some bumpy moments. Oh, I'm sure. Was there like was there like an introduction where they like, "Hi, this is George. He's this is the job he's going to be doing." Or did you just start walking up and be like, "Hey, listen, I got some notes for you." <laughs> well, uh, yeah, and that, yeah, because the, most of the actors didn't know. Uh, I right. did, t- to get the job, I first had to interview with Amy and right. Patricia. Right. And then they, they uh, uh, I think, w- got it down to four people. that mm-hmm. they, uh, And then the four of us, I think, interviewed with Lauren. Right. And then Lauren had final approval as okay. to... So at least Lauren knew. Yeah, yeah. At least Lauren knew. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, Lauren was great. I mean, yeah. uh, because, uh, and I think what was my ace in the hole was that Carla McCloskey yeah. was the first AD, and so when we interviewed, uh, Lauren said, "Now you're you're friends with uh, Carla." I said, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I sang in her wedding. Uh, her husband and I yeah. we, uh, went to college together. Yeah. You know, he's an actor, uh, mm-hmm. Lee McCloskey, and so." Uh, uh, and so, so I knew about Gilmore Girls because Carla had been working on it. Right. Uh, in fact, she was trying to work on getting me in to get a, a guest spot or something on yeah. the show. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. And so, uh, so I, I was aware of Gilmore Girls, and I knew that she was working these long, crazy hours. Right, right, right. And, and so then she called me and said, uh, look, uh, they need a dialogue coach for the show. And yeah. I know you had done it on, uh, in fact, Lauren, I mean, uh, uh, Carla was the first person that got me actually into doing this because she was yes. working on the movie Hook. Yes, um, I love, that's one of my favorite movies. Oh, really? Oh, gosh, okay. I love well, I was the acting coach for all of the- Wait, I did know sports. that. I did, wait, I, I just remember, I did know that because I, in one of my YouTube breakdowns, uh, I actually did a whole thing about you uh, I'll send I'll send it to you uh, after this so you can see cool. it. I did a whole I had, I did a whole breakdown about you. It, I felt a little stalkery because I, like, <laughs> I was like I was like because one of the reasons and we'll get into this because I I do want to ask you about this. One of the reasons why I highlighted you is because um, whenever I do like a video breakdown of an episode, I always highlight uh, people of color in the mm -hmm. show and like their background and who they and who they are where, where they come from and stuff like that <clears throat> um the last one i did uh i can't remember his name offhand i think his last name is reavers uh but he played a, a cop in the season finale season five finale and he's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, David, um, uh, yeah yeah David, Yo, yeah, reavers, lovely think, guy. yeah commercial king he does so many yeah. commercials and yeah. his son is corbin blue corbin blue exactly yeah right. yeah absolutely so i i i love i love highlighting um mm -hmm. like you know, people of color uh, on on the show because there's admittedly, obviously, there's not too many that no. that we see that we see come through. And uh, so I did a whole thing about you. I got to send it to you, and you got to let oh, me know cool. if I did you justice. Great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, it was through Carla that I so I did yeah. I did hook, mm -hmm. uh, and that worked out really well. And then from that, I guess I got Sister Sister because yeah. uh, I had that credit because I was it was a Spielberg thing. So if you do Spielberg, it's like you're just you know, like yeah, you're good. Yeah. And so <laughs> uh, so then I had that experience. And then when they decided to bring in a dialogue coach on um, on Gilmore Girls uh, because they were going through script supervisors right. like it was a revolving door. Right. You know? Oh, sure. They, they, did, they didn't last too long on that show. <laughs> you know, oh, it was, man. it's a hard job, a script right. supervisor, because uh, all the things that they have to do, chime the show, the continuity, uh, and also they had to give uh, line corrections. Right. And it was too much. They finally realized maybe it's too much to expect them to be on top of the dialogue. Mm -hmm. Uh, and them do all the other things that they had to do. So right. they brought me in to help the actors out, and right. so and so that's how I got brought onto the show. Right. And and so when when you were there, um, was it was it hard to um, I guess get a get a feel for like their their fast paced dialogue? Like, like was it hard? I guess hard for the actors. I mean, like, did you have to really work with the actors to really get that? that fast paced dialogue, that diction, that enunciation, like was it hard for them to get it sometimes or did they just kind of have a feel for it already? Well, they, again, they we were into the third season. Mm -hmm. So so the regulars, they yeah. kind of knew the routine and yeah. they also knew that it had to be word perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it was even more strict when I got there because I was there now to help them. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, and it really was my responsibility to give them the correction. So I mm -hmm. came up with this whole, I mean, if you used to look at my script, I had like this hieroglyphics of just, oh, I mean, wow. symbols and things. Uh, yes. Because not only what I would do uh, as a dialogue coach, I mean, we would do 10, 15 takes of a scene, yeah. you know, 20 times. And so what I would do, I would, I would uh, like say there was a line on t and then take, Mm -hmm. on, the, on the second take, maybe they missed this word or that word. Mm -hmm. I would circle that word, put a little two by it to know mm -hmm. that was the second take. They missed that word. Mm -hmm. uh, or sometimes they would reverse the words, you know, and so then right. I had like, arrows going different ways. So I had all right. these different symbols. You had like the whole symbol put, system going. Yeah. Right. And then, <laughs> then I would put the take so then I could then I could go to the director. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, and quite often. They uh, they couldn't go to the next scene unless I gave it a mm. thumbs up because wow. uh, many many times uh, the director said, "Okay, let's go." I said, "Oh no, yeah. no, wait, 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 wait," <laughs> you know? and, then, 
and then the the crew the crew would start chanting my name George 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 that's they love getting that overtime <laughs> oh my <laughs> god that's they made a whole lot of extra money in overtime with me oh I'm sure and I did hear that that Gil, the season one through six at least of, of Gilmore Girls uh the the shooting schedule was was pretty pretty intense like just long I, I heard that it was just long hours uh, long, for, long. for that show uh, until hours. Amy and Dan left in season seven. I heard it was just like, just very, very yeah. long. Yeah, no, it was, Gosh. it was very, very long hours. And, and Amy, oh uh, God, she's so loyal. Uh, mm -hmm. And I mean, I got perks that I would never get on other shows, sure. but uh, you know, I, I love me some Amy and Dan, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. and, for, and for the final season, the seventh season, even though she wasn't going to be there, mm -hmm. she came up to me and told me, she said, look, I'm not going to be here for season seven, yeah. but I made it very clear that I want them to, uh, I want you to be there. Nice. And that, that, you know, that, uh, cause I'm, cause I, you know, there are people that I believe that are essential to keeping yes. the Gilmore girl mm -hmm. thing going. And she said, you're one of them. And so I made it, so oh, nice. I, yeah, I was brought back. So uh, nice. So, when did you, when did you learn? Uh, cause I, obviously you, I, I'm, I'm going to assume you were brought on as a dialogue coach before you actually made an appearance on the show. Right. Yes. Um, yes. So when, so how, how did they, did they just ask you, were they like, Hey, we need somebody uh, to, to play a professor here or something like, were they, did they ask you? <laughs> nope. Didn't ask me. They just gave it to me. They just, they told, just told me I was it. doing it. <laughs> you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it, and it was interesting because uh, uh, it takes eight days to do an episode mm -hmm. of Gilmore Girls. And so we were on the eighth day uh of the episode um and that's the eighth day is usually the longest day because quite often during the week that you run into some scheduling problems or you have to postpone something mm -hmm. or you don't get to it and, and you know and so they said okay we'll put it on the back end and mm -hmm. but you got to get it all done on that last right. day and so and i remember uh uh so we got we, uh, we were finishing up the uh, episode, uh, and it, I, it was probably about six or seven that evening, um, and they were bringing out, you know, when the scripts are ready, they'll bring them out and they start handing them out to the actors mm -hmm. so they can get this, the scripts to, to read. Mm -hmm. And so um, and so I, they came and they gave me my script, um, uh, and, and they said, oh, and George, you're going to be a professor at Yale. I went, I am? Oh, how, oh, that's nice. How nice of, oh, that's really, really kind of them, you know? So I thought, oh, yeah. great, 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 great. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's like two lines, three lines, oh, a little, no. just, just a little, <laughs> uh, no. no, 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 no. Uh, oh and gosh. the original script, it was a page and a half monologue. No. Uh, and, and you're just talking. And so it's not even a scene where oh. you're talking to someone, someone can give you the cue so you know yeah. the next line is coming. And so then on top of that, on top of that, now your brain is already fried from uh, what I've worked already 12 hours, 13 yeah. hours a day. And it's, uh, then the, the, they tell me, oh, and by the way, your scene is first up tomorrow. Oh. First up. I said, but I said, can't you put me toward the end of the day? You right. know, I mean, when am I going to have time to learn the lines? We still have a few more hours right. of filming <laughs> this episode, you know. <laughs> and they said, we're sorry because of the uh, location-wise, it just makes more sense. We got to go here first. I said, right. but I don't have any time to learn the lines. You know? Oh man. And so, uh, and so there I am, you know, like between takes uh, of the, the, the that current episode that we're doing, and yeah. I'm trying. And 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 oh. you're, when you're tired, it, nothing sticks. Right, right, and, it's, and I'm sure it seems like mushy at times too. Yeah, like, and I'm oh. trying to learn the lines and learn, and I'm just like, and everyone's like, oh my god. And then you have the added pressure that I'm the dialogue coach. Right, so right. Now right. it's my turn. I've been giving <laughs> corrections to everybody else, so now it's like, mm -hmm. right, right. Okay. Now, so, you're like, I have to get show this me what right. You can do. Right, right, right. I have to get this right now. <laughs> right. So, so I, I mean, and so then I finally, when I got home and I'm yeah. learning, trying to learn the lines, I think it was like two o'clock in the morning or something. Oh my gosh. My doorbell rings, script changes. And enough oh. to what I had thought I had locked in, changed, moved around. And, oh. and I'm like, 
So I didn't sleep that night. Oh, I'm sure. I wouldn't be able I, to sleep that I, night. I walked in that, that morning like a walking zombie. Oh. And uh, I somehow, you know, uh, I mean, when I see the scene, I, I have to pat myself in the back because I, I, <laughs> I, I look so calm on the outside. Right, but on the inside, you're just I like, was ah. dying. I was <laughs> dying. <laughs> and the crew, the crew, uh, they were great. That they were yeah. all like, "Come on, George, you can do it." I mean, they were oh. all because everyone knew the situation that right, I, right. I was gonna, I was yeah. gonna say, people probably knew what was going on. Right, and right. and the and the professor uh, uh, and teachers, for some reason, that uh, people who played those roles. It was cursed. So they had mm. so many people who play teachers or professors and they crash and burn. Right, so right. so that's when they decided, you know what, who can we give this to right. uh, at this last minute that can come right. in and do it? And right. they said, oh, we'll give it to George. Not thinking that, oh, uh, guys, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Can I have a little time to learn? Right, lines, you know? right, just, right. Just, just a day? Can I get That's a day? You know? Oh my god! Well, I, I was always, I was always happy to to see you in an episode. Um, and and one of the re one of the things that um, I always, I, I I always point out, and this is of no fault of, I mean, I don't think of of Amy and, and Dan Palladino or the creator, or the creators, or producers, but one of the reasons why. Um, I think that people where I grew up didn't watch the show was because it was hard for us to see us uh, as an African Americans it, right. there, right? Because we right. weren't featured right. a lot. Um, yeah. You're obviously an African American. Um, would when you were making the show, was that something that stood out to you as well, or or was that just was it not really a thought at the time? Um. I mean, I, I knew that Gilmore Girls was, you know, there weren't many people of color mm -hmm. right, on the right. show. Uh, I mean, you had Yannick and you had right. uh, Liz Torres. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, and so, yeah, I mean, but, you know, to uh, Amy and Dan's credit, you know, uh, I mean, bringing me on to give a whole bunch of folk corrections you know right. <laughs> uh, you know uh uh i just think it's it because the show it took place in this small town in connecticut you know it was realistic that there probably weren't many people of color that lived in that neck of the woods mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. so that's that's what it was and and so i didn't you know i didn't feel you right. know although i was always happy when i saw someone of color on the sure. show, were, in fact, there were a couple of times. Uh, yeah. I think one uh, young lady, she, I think she was playing a nurse or something. She just okay. had a couple of lines, and yeah. she hadn't worked uh, much in television, so she didn't know mm -hmm. about the master take and then coverage. And so mm -hmm. I would go and I kind of pull the coattail and say, you know, on this, you know, uh, when the lines, when the camera's on her, on, on Lauren, you know, yeah. you, you're standing off camera, so you can even hold your lines. You're going to hold the pages and read off of it because the camera's not on you. And she's like, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I said, I said, it's all up. I said, because I had to learn that. I didn't, yeah. you, know, yeah. no one, you know, coming from the sitcom world, it was, a, right. it was a different thing. So there was no one there to explain that to me. So right. I, I learned, you know, through trial and error and right. and through people you know uh, lauren teaching me and mm -hmm. and uh the people in fact my very first day um uh, the, in that town square i remember sally struthers and liz yeah. torres came up to me <laughs> and they and they introduced themselves and i knew i knew well i knew of both of them right and, right, right. and they were so sweet and they became my buddies and they oh, kind sure. of they, they kind of pulled awesome. me aside and they kind of they kind of took me under the wing you know yeah. and just said Okay, because they were so surprised that uh, you know mm -hmm. that they had hired me, and then Scott right. was Scott was euphoric. He said, "I can't believe they gave the money. They they got the money to to bring in the dollar." Goes, man, okay, <laughs> all right, that was great. You know, so so he was he was really happy. And so right. I mean, everyone, I mean, everyone embraced me. Sure, uh, sure, sure. You know, uh, and and you know, and once we got to know everyone, and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, it 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 was a a, a wonderful experience. Sure, uh, sure. That I'll, I will always cherish. Sure. Have you watched Have you watched the entire series? Uh, yes, a, a long time ago. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 
And I mean, I may do it again. In fact, I thought about doing it during the pandemic because I had yeah. all this time, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, because uh, it's fun because actually, even though I was working on the show, uh -huh. I didn't see the scenes because right. I was like, either like if they were in Lorelai's house, I might be on those, that fake staircase. That right, right, right. Nowhere, right. Uh, there, uh, and Luke's. Um, uh, behind the counter, uh, behind the wall, there was a staircase. Yeah, I, that's where I usually sat in the dark, and I had I had a, like a little uh, TV, my own yeah. little TV, so I could see who the coverage was on, who the shot was on. Right, and I had, I had my little light for my script. And so, and I would sit there, and of course, after each take, I jump right. up and then I run to and the actors <laughs> and, give, and give them the corrections, you know. And then yeah. I run back up to my little spot, so I never. Right. I, so I so I never really would see the scene uh, because I'm mm. I'm so busy. I'm mainly looking at the looking script. at the script. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and because the reason I ask is because I, <laughs> I've actually asked that of every single cast member that I've had on so far, uh, if they've watched the show. And the one interesting thing that I found is that number one, not a single one watched the show while it was on the air. Uh -huh. <laughs> number number two, there's a couple of them that are watching it like. Like right now, I had uh, uh, John. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't. Cabrera. Remember. Yes, I had John Cabrera on, uh, and I was on, and I was on his uh, recently as well. Uh, I had him on, and he's watching it right now for the first time as well. He called me and invited yeah. me to come, and, and yeah. I and I was I had a dinner party I went to. I mm. couldn't go that night, but I'm gonna yeah. I'm going to watch one time. Oh later. yeah, he's 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 fantastic. It's, it's just it's really guy, funny, yeah. and and I, obviously Scott is watching it for the first time as as well. Yeah. Uh, and I, I just I find it really funny that, you know, um, a lot of the cast members haven't watched it yet. The fandom have embraced this show so much oh, God, that yeah. they, they watch it over and over and over and oh, over. And again. they know every little thing. I everything. mean, everything. I, I, I things that I don't know. I would. Right. Like, I, don't, I, I have to ask them. They'll t want those right. fan fest. Oh, you'll see it at the fan fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know every little. You can't stomp them on anything. Someone knows every, <laughs> any little mistakes or anything. I mean, they know. They know. Right, right. It's, it's it was just really it's really interesting to just like live in this world because like like I said before like this time last year I had no idea it was this deep. <laughs> I had no idea. And then just I, they welcomed me into this world and I'm like, wow, this is pretty intense. This is yeah. really, really intense. Yeah. Um, so, OK, so the other thing that I wanted to ask you about is so you're also a singer as well. Yes. Yes. You are. You Back are. So, you, so, so you, OK, so you don't sing anymore. No, no. No. Only if I have to, you know, That's just, right. <laughs> you know. I tell my agents and managers, mm, if it's a musical, I'd rather yeah. be an acting role in a musical or, uh, or character singing, but no more round pear shaped tones. That's right. <laughs> do you do, do you find yourself, you know, singing in the car, uh, singing in the car a lot like you're just driving? And, and if so, what kind of what kind of songs do you like to sing nowadays? Just just on your own for fun. Oh gosh, uh, you know if something comes up that kind of hits me, yeah, in the yeah. car I probably do. I don't really sing in my apartment, you know. That's fair. You mm. know, I, I mean, because I mean, I, I did Broadway, so I have a kind of right. big voice, right? And so, right, right. Uh, and so uh, you know, I don't want to <laughs> break, break down the walls. I, I, I am, I am a huge. Uh, so I'm a Broadway junkie. Um, oh cool. I'm, cool. I'm a, in fact, I have two tattoos. This one says Respita. And this one says Paciente I Fe, uh, Patience of Faith and, and um, Breathe. And they're both songs from In the Heights. Uh, okay, I am a cool. gigantic Broadway nerd. Gigantic. Oh, cool. I love Broadway so well, much. I, I made my Broadway debut uh, in 1978 mm -hmm. with uh, Opposite Eartha Kid in the musical Timbuktu, mm -hmm. which was the all black version of Kismet. Yeah. And I yeah. played her husband. I was the Wicked Wazir. I was this comedic thing. And then I was, yeah. I also was with the original company of Ain't Misbehaving. Yes. Um, yes. And, uh, and I did Cats, uh, the LA yes. company of Cats. I was Old Deuteronomy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I've uh, oh, done a lot yeah, of I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a huge, 
Oh, I'm a, I'm a huge Broadway nerd, so it's, oh, it's cool, always cool. nice to like speak with like a broad with a Broadway uh, vet because like that's what I I listen that's, I listen to Broadway every day all day. Oh, well, that's my real house. That was yeah. my real house. Yeah, so. <laughs> I um I'm actually I get to I'm playing uh, Tom Collins in Rents later on this year oh, cool. uh, at the Broadway Theater of Pittman down in in South Jersey. So I'm ex- I'm excited for that. It's gonna be a great. Lot of fun. Good for you. Yeah. I worked in uh, New Brunswick. I did a production of the musical version of Raisin in the Sun. Raisin no, yeah, know, wait, awesome. was, was awesome this guy. that, um, which, which theater was it? Uh, George Street Playhouse. George Street Playhouse, yes, I know George Street Playhouse very well. They cha- they changed it, they tore it down and, and built oh. a whole new uh, theater there. But I was a part of the George Street Playhouse educational touring company back in the day. Oh, uh, wow. and, yeah, and so George Street Playhouse, like, commissioned, like, four, like, children's plays, um, one of which was a musical. And we used to travel around in a little van <laughs> and and perform this for schools uh, through the Georgia. So I was at the George Street Playhouse every yeah. single day for an entire year, pretty much. Wow. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I had a great time doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is this is awesome. The the one one more thing, one more thing before I let you go. Um, and I I, I meant to ask this before and I and I forgot, but when you were on uh, when you were on Gilmore Girls, did did you were you also responsible for just the I guess I'm going to call it vocal warm ups uh, for like before a scene like or was the was the cast responsible for, you know, getting like were you doing like exercises with them like vocal exercises with them or were, was it just like I'll do the scene and then I'll correct you after that. You know, it was it's just strictly dialogue. I didn't give acting mm-hmm. uh, a notes at all mm-hmm. unless the actor specifically would ask me about sure. something uh like Yannick would sometimes ask me about mm. the meaning of a word because he was French Canadian right yeah he's from um, Quebec I think or something yeah. right mm. um but uh I would only run the lines I would either go to their uh their trailer or to mm. or on the set somewhere and we would run the lines over and over until they felt comfortable and and I would just get them prepared for right. the scene and right. then like i said after each take i would go with my little notebook and i would uh i would give corrections also what i would do is as an actor sometimes you say the line and you think you're saying it correctly and you're not mm-hmm. so i go to give the correction and they and they say well what did i say <sighs> and so what i would do is i try to write down what they said incorrectly yeah. and then i would give them and then they i would say well you said such and such and such and, such. and they go oh and then they can make the adjustment right. now certain actors i wouldn't give them that note because mm. it would only confuse them and they, right, didn't, right. they didn't want to know other actors they wanted to know so i knew how how each actor uh th- their process what mm-hmm. they needed to uh how, how they wanted to run the lines how they mm-hmm. wanted to you know how, some some people wanted to do it over and over like scott right they, they wanted to just drill it into his head some yeah. folk uh lauren uh just give it a cue line so that and then she would you know because uh, she was right. i think she has a photographic memory oh <laughs> yeah that. i've heard that that's it's uh, incredible. that's incredible uh, and i'm just, just so quick and you know, I'm trying to now. I'm as you tell me all of this stuff about you know sitting with actors and, and all of that. Did you you did this with Robin Williams as well? No, no, I'm not oh. on Hook. I didn't work with anybody except the Lost Boys. Got it. Okay, uh, okay. Because I was just I, thinking, like what? Robin Williams. Sometimes we'll just go off and like. Just, oh God! Yeah. No, we'll just go off and no, 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 no. <laughs> I just did with the Lost Boys. Yeah. What I did was I I I devised. Um, uh, theater games uh, that oh, would incorporate nice. the scenes that they were going to do, yeah. and and to get them as a a cohesive unit to just kind of yeah. because they were this tribe. Of, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Boys. So I so I did things like that, and then we nice. and and did a lot of improv and stuff like that, and right, so got right. them uh, uh, ready for their for uh, when got they it. worked with Spielberg. So right, so, right. I, yeah, those, no, those, no, I didn't work with any, uh, or no Dustin Hoffman or yeah. you know, <laughs> uh, Julia Roberts, no, none of them. I right. just saw them, but I didn't work with them. Right, right. It's funny. It's funny because one of the things that um, the people that watch me, they they make fun of me because I have trouble saying, I'm going to see, I'm going to, I have to think about it every time I say Rory. I can't, I can't do it. Rory, it's like, yeah, yeah. I, well, it's so hard for me. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, there's certain words that, you know, you get tongue uh, uh, tied yeah. uh, and you just have a, I, in fact, I remember one time, because one of the best people for learning lines and yeah. being on it was uh, Liza, 
or play Paris. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, I mean, whenever whenever she was working, I'd be like, hmm, okay. <laughs> I got an easy day today, you know. <laughs> Liza was on the dialogue. Yeah. You know? But yeah. I, I remember there was this one time there was, I don't know what the word was, but she just, this word just kept throwing her, you know, and I could tell she was starting to get in her head yeah. about it. And so, and I think my job, not only was as a dialogue coach, I was kind of like the set shrink. <laughs> sure, sure. I got you. Yeah. I mean, as I told Lauren when I interviewed, I said, I see myself as a safety net for all the right, actors. Right, right, right. So I can also tell when an actor's kind of on the edge, they're struggling mm -hmm. or something's not. And so so I, I just caught quietly went up to uh, Liza and said, don't sweat it. You know, mm -hmm. whatever comes out, comes out. You'll do it in ADR. You can correct it mm -hmm. there. You know, don't, right, don't right. interfere with the rest of your performance. Right, so right. Things was on, so I said, it's just one word, and we all have it. You know, I have that right. problem sometimes to have one word, and, and it can throw you, throw you off. So when, once yeah. she knew that, okay, that's right, I can do an ADR later on. And yeah. just and then know. she just called, and she calmed herself. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, and then, and then I would also <laughs> would tell the directors sometimes, the guest directors, if um, they wanted to go in, they go give an actor a note or something. Yeah. Uh, and if I could tell that the actor was kind of like on the edge and mm. Mm, this would not mm. be a good time, I would say, don't go in there. Right. <laughs> Just like, give it a second. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let them do it. Let them have another go at it. Don't, right. don't, don't go it. And right. sometimes, most of the times they would listen to me once in a while. They found out that I was right and they went in there and. Mm. <laughs> you, and you're just sitting there you're like i, tr I tried to tell you mm -hmm. i tried to tell you, <laughs> told you. <laughs> you know, are you are you team dean team uh um uh um but team 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 dean team yes. Jeff, or team logan you know what they're all my boys they're yeah. all I, I i you know it's like i'm a proud parent I could not pick against either one of them because I love yeah. all three of them. I am so happy that all three of them um, are so successful. And they I are. They are all three of, of Rory's just, boyfriends are just like doing just their, got their thing. own series. They all yes. got their own series, and they're but they're all such great yes. guys. Yeah, I, remember, yeah. I remember one evening uh, we were shooting a scene with a. Uh, I think it was it was with uh, Dean and Jess, mm -hmm. and they had it was a fight scene. It was an evening yeah. scene, but you know, but they really loved the guys, and we were running yeah. lines and stuff like that. And I t I told them I I said I said guys I said you're such a pleasure. And I I said and don't you change. I said I yeah. I, I I know good things are going to happen. And I said and, and if you act up, I'm gonna slap you upside your head if I see you. <laughs> So I, so I said, so I said, just you know, uh, just remain who you are, and they have. I mean, they're, yeah, they're just, and they're, they're yeah, they're guys. all to this day, all, like all they're great. all doing so yeah. well, yeah. <laughs> incredibly well. With their, so. Yeah, yeah no, they're all I, great I, I, So I could, I could never pick. Uh, uh, which sure. one? You know, just sure. love them all to death. Sure. So what's so what's next for you? What's so like? What's what is uh? What is your what is your next? What is your next gig? Like, what is your next thing that you're allowed to talk about? Oh, well, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm no spring chicken here now. <laughs> <laughs> you pick up like, I made my Broadway debut in the late 70s, you know? So, I mean, I mean, yeah, Black don't cry. But, That's true. You know, that uh, is true. But, but, but you know, uh, we're getting up there in age. So yeah. um, I, I told Amy and Dan, I said, mm -hmm. look, you know, dialogue coaching, at least for episodics and stuff like mm. that, I don't think I can work those kind of hours anymore. Right, right, right. Maybe a sitcom, but I told them, mm. I, but for them, I would make an exception. Sure. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I know rumors or, you know, people are wanting, uh, Gilmore, asking if Gilmore Girls is going to come back. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, but if it were to come back, I could see them doing like maybe like a, a, uh, a two-hour special, like a, right, a Gilmore right. Girls Thanksgiving, a Gilmore Girls Right, Christmas, right. That's like that's that. actually what I um <laughs> I pitched an idea to to Valerie the other day. I said do a spinoff um with uh you know just follow Rory uh, as like a grown woman and uh, send her send her down to Philly where I live <laughs> uh, and 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 just follow her and her and her and her new adventure there. And then all of our favorite characters from the previous show or from the uh, from the series can make guest appearances. <laughs> it's, it's like just a new adventure like and 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 because i know one of the hardest things i'm sure now is in order to get like if if it were to be a season two of a year in the life is that like people are so busy 
now. Like everybody's working. Like Lauren, oh, yeah, Lauren Melissa, is doing my God, you know? you know, she's my superstar. You exactly. Know? Yeah. So and and yeah, Melissa McCarthy, like like good luck. <laughs> you yeah. know, you know. I mean, yeah. they could do it like I like what we did on the on the reboot mm -hmm. where people right. came in and literally worked a day. Yeah, that was yeah. I mean, uh, 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 Jared flew in on his jet, <laughs> and, and uh, just for one day, did yeah. his thing, and yeah, back on his jet, and went on uh, back uh, to yeah. uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, yeah. You know, but, but right. and so many of the actors, what they did, they came in and did one day. So I mean, right. Uh, right. yeah, they could do it. You know, I mean, uh, George, but, we all have jets, by the way. <laughs> You not have you didn't get your jet yet? I'll get logging one for you. Oh, th thank you, thank I got you. It's, I'll, so, I'll Amazon Prime it. It'll it'll get there in two days. <laughs> but yeah, if but if they uh, if they're gonna do a Gilmore Girls and they want me to dialogue, because they better get on it pretty soon, because you know. <laughs> otherwise, maybe I'll just do a cameo as an actor. Right, right. <laughs> that would be more appropriate to me because I uh, right. no spring chicken yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, listen, listen, George. Uh, I, I'm so thank you so much for for sitting and, and chatting with me today. It, it is, you know, like I said, this whole journey has been uh, incredibly uh, just eventful and and uh, adventurous. It's just been so, so, so cool that I get to sit and chat with you and other cast members and crew members. And uh, I, I, I can't wait to meet you all in person. I told Valerie that I'm going to, I'm coming out to, to, to L.A. at some point, maybe in like August, September. So, uh, you know, I want to, um, you know, come and visit everybody and, and say hi and 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 shake hands and all that. So. Thank you so much for, for sitting and taking time out of your day uh, to sit and chat with me. Um, do you have one final message for the, the Gilmore Girls fandom? What would, if they're, they're all listening right now, what would you say to them? Uh, hey, fans, thank you for being so loyal. You know I love you. Uh, and we, we're also appreciative of your support and love of the show. Uh, by the way, um, my, on my Instagram, and I'm, and I'm very tech, challenge <laughs> but i do have an instagram mm -hmm. uh and it's gab g-a-b 90069 and i have a bunch of pictures from gilmore girls uh from the years that i was on it i think i got the reboot pictures where i pretty much got most of the cast members right and some and pictures from uh previous seasons uh i'm sorry you're gonna see a lot of pictures of me in it but get over it okay? <laughs> get <out of> here. <laughs> <laughs> but but if you want to you know just go on instagram uh gab 90069 and you can uh uh and I guess you can download pictures. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they, they, yeah, they can. They can get. Yeah, okay, and I'm gonna. So, I'll, I'll put yeah. it. I'll. I'll put. I'll put that in the. Uh, in the. Uh, in the show notes as well, so people can click on it and go follow you and see some of the, some of the pictures that you're talking about now. Cool. Um, cool. Thank you so much for for sitting and chatting with me. This is this My is pleasure, such a guys. pleasure. Honestly, thank you so much. And if everybody watching and listening right now, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified anytime I do any kind of interview about this or any other thing that I'm talking about. And if you enjoy me, if you enjoy this face, you can follow me on your favorite social media platforms. Follow me at The Vibe with Kai or visit my website, thevibewithkai.com, where I'm always posting things that'll help you do good, feel good, be good, and live a good life full of good vibes. George Anthony Bell, the king. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me, everybody else. Thank you for watching. God bless and good vibes.